So in this video, we have a uniform rod AB of mass 15 kilos and length 18 meters rests against a rough vertical wall at A. The rod is held in limiting equilibrium by a light wire attached at B at an angle of 35 degrees to the rod. Find the magnitude of the tension in the wire. OK, so here is my diagram and this is one I want to label here. So first of all, it tells me that the rod is uniform, which means that its weight acts through the centre. The mass is 15 kilos, so I can identify its weight as 15 g, and the rod is 18 metres, so this distance must be 9 metres, and that distance must be 9 metres. It rests against a rough vertical wall. Now, if the, if the wall sorry, is rough, that means that it's trying to slip down the wall. So there will be a frictional force working against that direction of motion, working upwards. So the uh, rod is trying to slip down the wall. Because it's in contact with the wall, there will be a normal reaction force, R, which is going to be working perpendicular to the wall. Uh, the rod is held in limiting equilibrium by a light wire attached at B at an angle of 35 degrees to the rod. So there will be tension in the wire. And this is a diagonal force, so it's one that you're going to want to split up into its components. So a couple of ways of doing that, as I've shown in a previous video. I think because the diagram is going to look busy if I don't do this, I'm going to split it up this way. So um, let me just rearrange that and I'll split it up like so. So you're going to have that component and that component. So this would be T. Now that angle there is going to be 55 degrees. OK, so this is T sine 55, and this is T cosine 55. Again, it really depends on how you want to split that uh, angle up. Uh, we could have done T sine 35 and T cosine 35. That might have been the more natural way that you did it. And that's perfectly fine. We should get to the same results. OK, so part A, find the magnitude of the tension in the wire. Now, I can't go about resolving just yet because I've got too many unknowns. So resolving vertically, I've got two unknowns. I've got the friction and the T cosine 55, so the T. So that doesn't really make sense. If I resolve horizontally, I've got the normal reaction force and I've got the T sine 55. So two unknowns again. So it doesn't make sense to resolve just yet. So I'll take moments. And it makes sense to take moments about point A because I've got two unknowns at that point. So I am 9 metres away from the 15 G force and that's going to go around in a clockwise motion. So that's minus 9 times 15 G. And then I am 18 metres away from T cosine 55, and that's going in an anti-clockwise motion. So plus 18 times T cosine 55, and that's going to be equal to zero. Right, so T is going to be equal to 9 times 15 G over 18 cosine 55. Okay, so 9 times 15 divided by 18, so 15 halves. So you could write that as 15g over 2 cosine 55. Um, I'll plug that in using g as 9.8. Let's see what we get. Um, 128, so it's 128 um, newtons to three significant figures, but 15g over 2 cosine 55. Um, now, if you've done it in a slightly alternative way, 
Um, all you would have here is 15g over 2 uh, sine 35. Okay, so if you split your angle up in a slightly different way, slightly uh, split the um, t force up into a slightly different way. Sorry. So part B. Uh, find the coefficient of friction between the wall and the rod. Okay, so now that I know t, um, I can resolve uh, vertically and horizontally. So if I resolve horizontally first. So I'll take to the right as positive. I've got R, then take away T sine 55. So 15G over 2 cosine 55 times sine of 55 is equal to 0. OK, so R would be equal to... 15g um, over 2, and then I've got sine over cosine, so tan of 55 degrees. So that's R. Now if I resolve vertically, I'm going to take upwards as positive, we've got the friction uh, plus the T cosine 55, so um, 15g over 2 cosine 55 times cosine 55. Uh, then take away 15g is equal to 0. Now the cosine 55s will cancel. Um, and I'll be left with 15g over 2, take away 15g, so that's minus 15g over 2. So friction must be 15g over 2. OK, so it's in li limiting equilibrium, so the friction must be equal to mu times r. So 15g over 2 must be equal to mu times by 15g over 2 tan of 55. So dividing both sides by the 15g over 2 tan of 55 means that mu would have to be 1 over tan of 55 or cot of 55. If you haven't met cot yet, uh, cot is 1 over tan, um, or probably better think of it as cosine of a sine. So 1 over tan of 55, and that's 0 0.700 to three significant figures.